Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Y'all already know. I ain't got to tell you again. All right, another subject. Anointed man or woman of God versus not heavily anointed men and women of God. All right, so let me go ahead and do this one. All my life I had to fight. <laughs> let me tell y'all something. Y'all want to know why the church is not powerful? I saw this. I saw this with my own eyes. This was in, when I was going to the church in Sacramento. My God, my God. If they listen to this, they're not going to like me. But it happened. i never forget there was this powerful pastor. He was so powerful that when he got through speaking, that's, he, he came off the stage. And the anointing was so heavy on him. And I'll never forget. And this is what he told me. He said, woman of God, do you know who you are? And he was the first one to ever call me as a prophet. I mean, that man was so powerful. It was crazy. I started crying and everything. Do you know, because he was so powerful, they, the, the leader sent him to another church because he didn't want him to overshadow him. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm about to walk this thing out this morning. I'm so sick of y'all jealous leaders. Yeah, I'm saying it this morning. I, I ain't got no coons this morning. I sure don't. All I got is anointing for you, baby. That's why y'all don't want to invite nobody to your church. Uh, people might like them more than me. The difference between the old church and the new church, they knew that they had to have somebody anointed. Prophet Nathan Sithen, S S Simmons. Um, Bishop, um, oh, what was that man's name? That man was so powerful. I'm talking about... The old leaders, they all got together and they and, and they, they they welcomed the anointing because they wanted people healed and delivered. It wasn't about them. It wasn't about a show. It was like, I, I, we, we, need, we need to heal our people and deliver our people like God said. That's why the church is at a fallen state. Because as soon as y'all see somebody anointed, instead of embrace them, y'all rebuke them. Uh, they they got to get up out of here. They're trying to overshadow us. They're trying to, they're trying to take the spotlight. They're trying to, oh my God, that's what's happening. That's why they don't invite you. Even to community outreach programs. I'm just being real with you. I ain't got no coos this morning. So, so, and guess what? I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. Because when the anointing fall on me, it's fall on me. And I'm going to let God use me. That's why the churches are not powerful. Because y'all run them out. Because y'all want to be a star. Oh, that there go again. Want to be a star. You rather keep yourself in leadership than let somebody anoint it and y'all carry each other. Ooh, let me walk this thing out. Moses needed Aaron and Aaron needed Moses. Aaron didn't have the power. Moses had the power because God was with Moses. But God said, I'm going to bless y'all both because y'all both going to do my work. Y'all both going to heal. Y'all both going to deliver the people. Y'all don't want to work together. So now you got the anointing over here that they barely like. They barely even give play to because they're anointed. You know, we, we don't want them to overshadow us. And so all y'all unanointed people, <laughs> I'm just keeping it real, all fellowshipping. And not y'all ain't got no power. So the power to the left cancels out the power to the right. I just said something. And so now you know who's suffering? The people. But isn't that what it's about because jesus said i've came to save that which was lost it's the people come on somebody hallelujah my god my god i've seen it my whole life in church i've seen it to where they will talk about this local preacher that's powerful oh i'm about to go in this morning i i i knew he was gonna do me this but that's the way it is they have a man down here that young man is so powerful but they don't highly like him. The man is powerful. Every time I see him, I give him the utmost honor and respect. And then we still say have the mega church. And boy, they're not going to like me, y'all. That's okay. Sir, you ain't hardly got no power. You, you barely getting out of sin. Oh, she said it. She said it. She said it. You, you barely getting out of sin. Yeah, I said it how I said it. This man been walking in, in, in authority and honor and integrity for 20 years. You just getting out of sin, sir. But people go to your church versus his church because you got the, the bigger church. You, you have the better reputation when it comes to money and honey and funny. Y'all don't want to play with me this morning, no. Because I'm on one. It's about reality. Now, don't get it twisted. We all are processing. Don't get it twisted what I'm saying this morning. We all are processing. Everybody at a different level. But keep it 100 if you're going to keep it 100. 
If you're going to be down, like you say, in real, y'all scared of the anointed people. Why do you think they don't call me, y'all? And, and, but it's okay because God has put me in my own little lane. They don't, I, I thank you, Lord. I, I'm, oh, I'm coming out, y'all. I'm coming out. You know how Diana Ross said, I'm coming out. Let me tell y'all what I heard about myself. Because, you know, they talk so much until you hear about yourself, right? Praise the Lord. Um, we love her power, but we don't know what's going to come out of her mouth. <laughs> y'all don't hear what I just said. We love her power, but we don't know what's going to come out of her mouth. So we can't trust that. So we can't invite her. That's what they talk about me, y'all. That's what they say. So, so they admit I'm powerful, but we can't control her mouth. What they don't know is I can't control my mouth because it's really whatever God wants. It's not Deanna. I don't have that luxury. Y'all ain't hear what I just said up in here. Is anybody hearing me this morning for real? For real, for real? If we're going to go back to the old landmark like everybody pretending right now, if we're going to go back to God like everybody pretending right now, then let's do the foundational work again. Let the anointed people lead the way and you hold your hands. And if you're lucky, the anointing that's flowing to, through them, it's going to hit you. It's going to hit you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Is anybody understanding what I'm saying this morning? So now they putting unanointed people in positions. Oh, I'm about to go here. I didn't know I was going to go here, y'all. But I, I hear God. I got to go there. There is no way they should have put uh, what's that man? Pastor Jamal Bryant over New Birth. New Birth just had a leader that fell. Y'all ain't going to like me this morning. It's okay. They should have put somebody brand new, spanking new, that give that young man a, ch a chance to, to rebuild that church in the right way. Jamal Bryant ain't right. He ain't never been right. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all can get mad if you want. Yeah, I call out names. When God released me, I call out names. You can get mad. Go to God. Man ain't never been right. So why would you why would you even do that? Because what that, that spirit was already in there, so we need somebody with the same spirit. Yeah, I see it how I see. Y'all know what I'm saying. Don't play with me this morning. I tells the truth. Oh, oh, remember what they, they talk about me now. I can't control they can't control my mouth. And neither can you. Because I'm gonna speak what God says. That's who's my owner, God. It's not about the people no more. The church is not about the people. The church is about the church. The church is about money. The church is about facades. I'm going to call another one out. There's Bishop. Um, I think, I don't, what's his name? What's his name? Bishop Greg. Bishop Greg. I forgot his last name. Okay. But anywho, um, I was supposed to go on TV. And I'm just, I told you what they said. They put the word out. Oh, you don't know what she's going to say. So I was canceled. You understand? Never got back to me. I was so embarrassed. I was hurt. I said, God, I don't understand. God said, Deanna, don't 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 take it personally. They can't they can't control you. I have you. And anybody that they can't control, they don't want them on air. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning for real, for real. Not not the real ones. They don't mind the fake ones on air. Y'all ain't ready. Because they talk in their lingo. You see, we don't mind you preaching a little bit of God, but we don't want you to preach anointed because guess what? The people might get free. Y'all ain't ready for me for real. We don't want the people free for real now. We want them to think that they are free. I just said something. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. I feel the power of God up in here. <laughs> my God, my God, my God. But I got news for you this morning. Hallelujah to his name. God said he's switching the gods. God said he's switching the gods. He said the latter should be greater. And I, hallelujah. He said the first should be last and the last should be first. God said I'm switching it up. God said I'm switching it up. God said I'm switching it up. Hallelujah. All God wants is his people healed and delivered. God don't care what you drive. God don't care how much money you got. God don't care. God don't care about what we so called care about. God said, My people are perishing. My people are dying. They dying without my son Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God is concerned about souls. What am I saying? They have forgotten the souls. Everybody wants somebody that, that that's oh, thank you, Lord. Politically correct. Well, I'm so sorry. I, I don't fit that agenda because I have never been politically correct. And I doubt that I ever will. They tried. They tried. I told y'all they tried. I couldn't do it. I, I can't conform. 
let me tell you something in this in this world you will have two things either conviction or compromise oh come on somebody i'm preaching this morning you will i will have two things conviction or compromise i'd rather have conviction than compromise i would not compromise hallelujah to his name praise god praise god so i praise you God, I give you honor and I give you praise to free your people, God, in these last days. Free them, free them, free them, God, from every stern leader that you did not call. And God, do what you have to do, God. Replace, rebuke, and correct. Inspect and check, God. Hallelujah to his name. Ain't nobody playing. So now y'all know why the church is in trouble. They really don't want anointed people in position. They want un unanointed. All you gotta do is look at TV. Look at TV. Look at TV. Look at look at the, who they got in leadership. It, it's the ones that you don't know that are so anointed and appointed. I've seen it for myself. Hallelujah. Woo! God bless you. God keep you all. All right. Now, I'm gonna keep it short to the point. I mean, ain't no sense to keep going on, right? Same thing. It's real. It's real. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Y'all already know when I come off consecration. Y'all know what time it is. I'm loaded. <laughs> so God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. Yes, yes, Stella, you're right. She said they want someone. That That's it. We just want to tickle, just tickle them a little bit. But don't save them. Look, look, they don't want them. They don't want y'all saved for real. Y'all know that, right? J -j -j just talk to them. Just preach. That's it. Guess what God just told me? Preach them happy. Just just preach them happy. We want to keep the people happy because we want the money to keep coming. They, I, they don't want to preach you saved, but preach them happy. My God, my God. All right, y'all. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldier for that is truly who we are. God bless.